Hey what's up David Alex here for ideas to creations and welcome to this video quick tip where I'm going to be showing you how to use comp and layer markers. If you'd like to create a layer marker which is a marker on a layer if you have say a video like this and you'd like to know exactly when certain things are happening what you can do is uh, scroll on to where you need to be select the layer that you'd like to add a marker and press the star button on the num num uh, numpad and that's going to add a marker right there at the time now if you double click that you get the layer marker settings where you can add a comment like say guy one appears and click OK and there you go. This is also handy when you're working with say an editor and you can say something like place footage at this point and you click OK and when they come in to work with it you know they find it right there. Now another thing you can also do is use comp markers. Comp markers can be set by pressing shift 1 shift 2 shift 3 and these buttons are the ones that are on top of the keyboard not the ones on the numpad side the ones at the top and these can also be carried forward so say i take this wide shot 2 comp so wide shot 2 and i drop it into another comp in itself and there it is you'll see that these comp markers are now here so say i go into wide shot 2 and i go to number 1 and i change it to say green or something and i click ok once i go to white shot 3 again where white shot 2 is inside you find that this doesn't update well you can just right click on one of the markers and choose update markers from source and now they're going to be exactly the same i can go also back to white shot 2 and i have here white shot 1 double click and you'll find that this one also has its own markers so if I go back to white shot 2, I can right click on this marker that I created, choose update markers from source, and it's going to add those markers right in there. Great for reference, great for editing. I'm David Alex, and uh, this tutorial was uh, pretty fast. So stay tuned to ideas to creations or at I2C blog on Twitter, or subscribe to the channel for more tips on using After Effects and Cinema 4D. I'll see you in the next one.